Hello and welcome to Fish in a Month for October. Hello, we're on the banks again Mark. We are, it's feeling a little bit autumnal. It certainly is, plenty of leaves now grouping Dropping. up on the pathway isn't there mate? Yeah, roof of the biv is covered with a few leaves out of the trees but yep. today you join us on the banks of the wet and windy Bramble Mere. Beautiful place. It is, very nice. Um, and it's part of the Welford Pools complex of lakes. It, it certainly is. I was going to say we're sort of halfway through. You've done 24 hours. Yeah, just over 24 hours. And it's cool one. Yeah. It's cool a scaly. I took I took my time. I didn't rush into it. No. I took the full 24 hours before I got a bite. Yep. Um, but yeah, we got a lovely fish this morning. Not the biggest in the pond, but definitely a stunning little fish. Oh, it's your first time down, mate, and you've got something, so yep. you certainly can't complain. Yeah, it's been a good trip. We've got a couple of lads with us as well. Brad's managed to have six bites, I think, and yep. most of the others have had a bite each, I think. Yep. There's just one guy that hasn't managed uh, No, a but he, bite he yet, did but get here 12 hours after us as yeah. well, so he's got time yet as well. He's got plenty of time, so hopefully we'll have a few more fish to report yeah. and a catch report and probably post it after us, mate. Definitely make that happen. Back to you guys, though. So, yeah, it's been a bumper month. Um, there's been plenty of questions uh, from yeah. our community, across our community pages. Yeah. Um, there's been some great reports to, to read and hear about what you guys have been doing in your fishing adventures as well this month. Nice little mixture. Yeah. Not just carp. No, no, I think this month, some more than most, spring. there's been tench, bream, barbel chub, yep. um, some nice roach and things as well. You've and seen a pike. We have, yeah, so all good. Um, as always, there's too many for us to mention them all by name today. Yes. Um, but we can highlight a few that are worth a special mention. Definitely. Uh, I think we can probably start with Gary Brookfield. He's been doing very well. Yeah, he's been having some great results this month, catching plenty of carp um, on the Nut 365. So look out for his reports. Um, well worth a look. I think he's been using the old snowman rigs as well, hasn't he? He has, yeah. Which is something you don't hear or see too much nope. sort of this day and age. But uh, yeah, no, old yeah. school and definitely, doing job, mate. Definitely doing the business. Um, we, we talked earlier about some tension bream. Well, Matthew Perrin has been catching some stunning tension bream using the mini combo, mini yep. pellet combo. Beautiful fish, mate. Well done. That's a, again, good to see. Some yeah. little tinkers. We didn't manage to do our sort of tent strip, did we? We, we didn't. Sort of out got of zoned out, didn't we? There's we did. too much going on. And yeah, I think but the carp sort of fish. Something to go definitely to plan in for the spring, I think. Yeah, no, definitely. We will target those green little tinkers, mate. We will. Got to catch one. Yep. Um, Brian Pillsworth caught a stunning crucian carp yep. um, on a caravan in holiday using the new corn and beetle and barrels as well. Well done, mate. Lovely to see some nice crucians. Yeah, beautiful fish. One of our favourites, Steve, I think, isn't it, as well? Yeah. Don't We've do enough a, of that sort of fishing. Got a marsh farm trip on the cards for next year already, haven't yep, we? So definitely. We'll, we'll definitely be down there early season. Yep. And yeah, I'm still trying to target that three pounder, mate. That yes. Nice three yeah. pound plate of gold, mate. That'd be. Which is a awesome. fish to grace any album, isn't it? Oh, you know, a three pound crucian. A two yeah. pound crucian is a stunning to fish. To be fair, the two pound I was absolutely chuffed to nuts with, mate. So when, when we sort yep. of last went out with uh, Richie and John, um, obviously they both had a three pounder. They did, think, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, I was just happy to be out and to catch a two pounder. That's great, but we'll go back. We will. We'll definitely. Get that, we'll get that free we'll get down there. there, I think, or at least have a good day anyway. Yeah. Um, Stuart Maddox has been enjoying a well earned retirement yes. and targeting specimen bream. Enjoy the retirement, sir. Yeah. And plenty, and of, plenty of fishing on the cards, hopefully, for you. What, what trips he's been having? I think he's had 10 trips and caught 40 double figured bream in 10 insane. trips. Where is it? Did he mention where he was? I don't think he has mentioned where he is. He's going to have to drop us a PM because we Defin need to go yeah, and target one of those, mate. But he's been using um, Beetlein enhanced hook baits. Um, yep. I think Beetlein is good all year round. Definitely yeah, comes yeah. into its own in spring, though. Uh, spring and spring and autumn, I think. Yeah. Um, well, it's, it's a very versatile product. You know, a lot of the sort of specimens or carp hunters, I suppose, use it. Obviously, we do a lot of zig fishing and stuff like that. But I mean, I've used it in commercial carp fishing. Uh, you know, since joining him, there's like 20, yeah. 20 odd years ago, mate. So yeah, I mean, even it's, it's just because it is so attractive, um, you know, to all species. It's, and then it's how you apply it, and you know, that yeah. application um, will dictate, you know, almost what you what you're catching. Yeah. You know, via target them, and obviously fishing different venues, different styles, different setups, etc. But no, that something like that, very versatile, can be used to target your, you know, your your chosen species. So and and just for it still being on the product list, you know, it shows it's. It's managed to test of time. 20 years of history, mate. And uh, like I said, you know, most countries, I think now across, you know, yeah. you know Europe and stuff, um, you know, we, we sent out 
um, an absolute shed uh, load to, to the USA. Um, going back a couple of weeks, you know, the guys over there are again doing yeah. incredibly well with it. Um, obviously, we have just launched a new one as well, mate. We have. We can touch on that. Yeah. Sweet corn one. It is. And uh, that's actually helped me get my fish today. It did. Yes, absolutely, mate. Um, so, uh, I think that will certainly be one to watch out for. We won't go too much into it. You know, I mean, it's relatively self-explanatory at the moment, but I'm sure there'll be, uh, there's a couple of comps already happened there is. and there'll be yeah. a few more comps coming. So yeah, keep an eye out for those. A uh, great way to grab yourself a free bottle. Mate. Yeah. And it's part of the wider range as well, Steve, isn't it? So, yeah. but we'll do a separate thing on that. We won't Definitely, this mate. one down yeah, today. Yeah, no, as we promised, we're going to try and keep it short and sweet. We are. Um, so that leads us on to our winner this month. Absolutely. So our winner that um, Steve and I have chosen is Keith Wrightson. Well done, sir. Epic, uh, epic haul. Yeah, had a mega hit on his syndicate catching 11 carp um, to over 30 pounds, Steve, I believe. Mega, mate. Absolutely yep. mega. Yeah, Using mate. the big bite pellets and little gems. Yeah. So congratulations, Keith. Um, don't forget to drop Steve a PM and he will get your 40 pound bait bundle on the way to you. Absolutely. Um, well done, mate. Yeah, no, 11 fish, over, yeah. you know, to over 30 pounds. You know, spreading it at this time of year as well. Yeah. I know Craig's had a very good hit, which we'll probably see across social media in the next sort of so many weeks. But uh, yeah, no, well done, mate. And Absolutely you can get mega. some good hits this time of year, can't you? As the yeah. fish do start to pack on a bit of winter weight yeah. to see them through. So it's a good time to be on the bank, actually, before fish, it gets fish too are normally, cold. You know, they've, they've had their spawning, you know, yeah. they've, you know, put on the weight since then. So that, you know, they've been actively looking from that sort of spawning period. And like you said, and especially with the clarity of water clearing up like where we're fishing now the fish are sort of going black you know black yep. in color and they're, they're you know in the best shape of the season I they think, are you know and like yep. you said they could be three four or five pound if not bigger uh, fight hard as well time. they yeah. do not give in they do not give in yeah. so yeah so please keep those reports coming in get involved by liking and commenting on the post for your chance yep. to win um, make sure you keep an eye on our community pages, uh, they're free to join, a yeah. couple of simple questions, you won't get spammed, it's just all about fishing guys as well. well like you said, you know, we've had loads of questions, um, you know, this month about, you know, an array of different yeah. subjects and, you know, yeah. different species, baits, but, you know, a, yeah. a bit of everything in there and, and that's what it's about, anglers, helping anglers, it's not about us selling you products, it's literally about, you know, yeah. we're here, we'll provide a service, obviously we'll recommend anything if, if you're looking for anything in particular but you know the, the guys will help out with venues locations rigs uh, you know the works yeah and if and if you do want to buy some products as well they do do discount codes across the community pages that aren't available anywhere else so yeah, it's no, definitely, definitely worth a look and um, we hope to see you all there soon we shall see you soon